everyone. On this episode of Lifeline, we're going to take a look at Ultimatum Precision's Deadline Action. This is a precision rifle action that uses the Model 700, the Remington 700 footprint, but that's pretty much where the similarity stops. And I can't wait to test this out. So let's take a look at how this thing is made and then we'll test it out. All right, let's do this. All right, so here we are with Mike. He is the head designer for Ultimatum Precision. He is the one that designed the deadline action. Right now, he is designing the head of the bolt to fit a 224 Valkyrie round. So not only are they doing this action for your standard uh, 308 and uh, 223 type actions, he's also now doing it for the 224 Valkyrie, which is a up and coming round for the long range community. So he designed the deadline action from the ground up. He used some aspects of the U300, which was the previous action that Ultimatum Precision used. I found out that they actually gave every single owner of a U300 a deadline action. Uh, these guys are committed to making really good products and they have decided that everybody who bought a uh, U300 action will get a deadline action for free. Once Mike has done all the design work, like we just saw him here, it goes downstairs to the machine shop. What really impressed me is the extensive machining that goes into these actions. These are not just guys doing this out of a garage. This is a five axis CNC machine with a turntable and they can crank out some serious precision work with this machine and some of the other machines and lathes that they have to make the parts for this action. It is absolutely impressive. I did not expect to see this whatsoever. So the turntable holds, I think, 10 actions, plus they can run one inside the machine. It starts off with testing the block of steel to make sure that it is centered and that the machine knows where all the uh, different parts of the action that is going to be built is. So it centers itself off of the action and then it starts doing all its machining. Some of this machining that this thing can do, uh, for example, the inside of the chamber is absolutely impressive. The whole cradle is moving, the drill bit is moving. It's really something to see. It can do the engraving for the label on the same machine. This is absolutely something impressive to see. Uh, once the action has been machined, it can go over onto this glide table where a probe will inspect every square millimeter of an action to make sure that it is absolutely true. And I believe they do this with absolutely every single action. The whole process runs about 20 minutes. After the action and all the parts come back from finishing, it gets assembled. Here we have Marco and Mike who are going to walk us through how to assemble the deadline action as well as the bolt and, and bolt head. Let's go ahead with the extractor install. So I have a, a detent spring that's going to go in here. So this is a uh, Savage style sliding extractor. I just put in the little uh, detent ball on here and just drop in the extractor in place. All right, just line it up here. And all I have to do is just push the, push the ball down and pull the extractor back in place. Yeah, it's still a little, a little tricky here. There you go. So this is good. Just test it and make sure it's nice and, nice and free in there. That's good. Uh, so we decided to go for the dual ejectors. Um, it's just nice and, and positive on, on ejection of uh, loaded rounds or, or empty rounds for that matter. Um, and so put a couple springs in there and lined them up. And there's a cross pin that comes here through. There you go. Right here. And 
just going to lock in the first injector. There you go. All right, so second injector. Drop it in there. I'm just going to line it up with the cross pin right there. And I'm going to put in a 223 case in there just to apply some pressure on the uh, injectors so they shouldn't move. And I'm just going to push that cross pin right, right there. There you have it. Perfect. And just test the pins and make sure they're nice and free in there. This is great. Right on. There you go. So there you have it. Dual ejector. And uh, so this bolt head will fit onto the same bolt body. So we can change this for the 308 or the Magnum bolt face. Um, all fitting in the in the deadline. All right, so this is a clean receiver. Uh, we just degreased the whole thing after nitriding. It comes in a nice oiled finish. It's all um, nice and uniform finish here. So first step to assemble the housing, uh, we're just going to drop in our trigger hanger. Um, so all those trigger hangers that accept all the 700 uh, compatible triggers. So cross pins in here and you just drop in in the receiver like so. And we have a countersunk hole uh, slash screw here. So this is actually uh, setting the uh, the location of the whole trigger hanger uh, because of the countersink right here. So it's not torqued into place. You will have to torque it out later but just for the uh, the assembly right now, just like that. All right, so next we're gonna do the uh, bolt stop. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm gonna take the uh, spring right here and uh, it actually just locks into place in the bolt stop uh, countersink hole here so it doesn't fall off. And uh, this guy, you line up in here and you should have that uh, protrusion at the at the front, so it works reverse from most of the uh, most of the bolt stops, and it's pretty straightforward. You just apply a little bit of pressure on here, and your pin's going to drop right in. So, and then this pin, there's no threads or anything on there. It's simple, uh, but the pin is going to be captive underneath the rail uh, once the rail is installed, so um, it'll never come off. Speaking of the rail, um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we have six number eight by 40 screws um, and two dowel pins for location. So there's no way this thing is gonna move or shift. Um, so those pins are gonna, are gonna do all of, the, all of the work to take the shear load. Um, so there you go, that that easy on here and so see right here is it's located and already not not going anywhere so six of those screws should be plenty to finish the job on that one so there you go right on and so Obviously, we recommend torquing those guys. Just gonna so then I would use a torque wrench and then uh, finish torquing all of these. All right, so we have our deadline 308 action here and we're gonna be mounting a Savage Prefit style barrel on there. We uh, ordered a Prefit barrel, comes in pre-threaded and pre-chambered. You do not need a gunsmith to mount that barrel. You need uh, a set of go-no-go -no -go gauges like this. 
that are specific to the caliber you're building your rifle into and you can mount that out of your home. Uh, and I'll show you how you do this. Uh, for this build we're going to be using our uh, barrel nut and barrel wrench, wrench combo. So what you want to do, you want to slap your, uh, your barrel nut wrench on there and then you're going to thread your barrel nut all the way until it stops. We are using a barrel vise, uh, which is really helpful, but you do not need a barrel vise. You could use just soft jaws on a regular vise and it would work. Once your barrel nut is threaded all the way forward, you're going to start threading your action on there. So you're going to want to do is thread it all the way forward and back it up two or three turns approximately. And then we're going to use our go gauge that's going to go in the chamber and we're going to close our bolts. And then you're going to thread your action up until it stops and that's your headspace right there. So your bolt face is behind the uh, go gauge which is in the chamber sitting on the shoulder. And you're going to bring your barrel nut against the face of the action and you're going to use your torque wrench which is set to 70 foot pounds and you're going to torque your barrel nut on there. Once this is done you're going to take your go gauge out and we're going to insert the no go gauge and make sure that the bolt does not close. So there you go, it stops, it does not close. So your headspace is set properly, you can shoot this rifle now. Okay, so we have our barreled action headspaced for 308 Winchester. To complete the build, we're going to be using a Magpul uh, Hunter 700 stock. Now our action is a Remington 700 footprint, but it is not necessarily a drop-in. Uh, the main reason for that is our our bolt body that is fatter than the one you would find on a Remington 700. And what that means is that your magazine needs to sit lower so that it does not contact the bolt when it's being cycled. Uh, also means your trigger is sitting lower to catch the sear. Uh, for that reason, in some of the chassis or stock, you do need to do minor inlighting. On this very application, we had to uh, take a little bit of material off of the bottom of the uh, trigger pocket on this uh, Hunter 700 bottom metal. Uh, most metal, because this is actually a polymer uh, bottom metal, on most metal models you don't need to remove anything, it is thinner there. We are using factory Remington 700 screws, they do not need to be shortened or anything. Uh, in different applications you might need to shorten the rear action screw, uh, not even a millimeter. So we're going to go ahead and put the bottom metal into our Remington uh, Hunter 700 stock here. Our barreled action is going to go on top there. And we are going to insert our Remington 700 action screws. Um, you want to make sure your recoil lug, I'm keeping tension using the rail here, you want to make sure your recoil lug is sitting nice right against the uh, the recoil lug pockets on the mini chassis in there and I never torque those right away just tension on them and you increase gradually um, and we're gonna torque those to spec and that's it all right so this has been the building and the assembly of the ultimatum precision deadline action uh, stay tuned for our next episode where we take this thing out to the range. If you guys like this episode, make sure you double tap those like and subscribe buttons. If you guys want more information on a deadline action, make sure you click the link in the description below. As always, I'm Ryan and I'm out of here.